Greetings and welcome to Pinball Help. Mike here. Work continues on this Gottlieb System 80B machine. This is a Raven. And I just replaced the battery with a memory capacitor. And I've got it in the game. I'm going to demo that. So you see we've got this memory cap up there where the battery used to be. So it'll remember the settings and I won't have to worry about uh, battery leakage and stuff like that. So let's turn it on and check everything out. I turned it on, game came up, and uh, I put some credits on. So let's see if the credits stay. I've left the game off now for a half hour or so, maybe even an hour. And look at that. We still have seven credits on the game. So let's see. All right. Door's not open. Oh, I took the ball out, so it's not going to kick a ball into play. Move the ball. Here it is. Let's put the ball in. Okay. I'm still working on this game. Um, I haven't taken the play field apart and cleaned it yet, and I haven't changed any of the rubbers. I put some LEDs on the underside of the play field, so I'm kind of going over it. Um, let me show you something else that. Uh, I noticed. <clears throat> and this, ouch, ouch. Bang my hand. Okay. So I'm looking at the board set up here, and you'll notice there's a little daughter board to the right of the MTU board. Let's let's take a good look at this. Pull this down. Ouch. Okay. And uh, right over there to the right. <clears throat> this is called the reset board, and you'll notice in my machine here, it's not connected. I believe there's a connector that would connect from this to that, and so the connector is missing. I'm going to look in the machine to see if it is somewhere. So I did a little bit of research on this because the game appears to be working fine. So I don't understand. I didn't understand what this board does, but it's called the reset board, and it's a little watchdog circuit that monitors the CPU activity because apparently due to some of the grounding problems that this, these System 80 games had, um, the game could, the CPU would sometimes freeze, and if a coil was fired, it would leave the coil locked on. So Gottlieb added these reset boards that would monitor the MPU activity, and if it looked like it was frozen, it would reset the game. Um, so probably, as I understand it, if you're using this in a home environment and you're watching the game and it's always on just when you're around, it's really not a problem. You can operate this thing without, although some games may or may not work depending upon whether the board is hooked in or not. It varies apparently from game to game. But uh, in this case, it's not hooked up and the game appears to be working fine. If I were to put this on location or leave it somewhere unattended, I would obviously want to address this. So I am going to at least try to figure out what's missing here and add that. And I'll probably also um, replace the caps on this board because they probably have gone bad and try to bring the game back up to 100% functionality. So that's what this board is here. This is a, a reset board and uh, it, it normally connects into the MPU and monitors it. And it's kind of an additional layer of protection. So. That's what we've got going on so far as we continue to dive into this game and learn more about its inner workings and get it back operational. So stay tuned for more. Thanks for watching. Um, you can catch more videos and information on my site, pinballhelp.com. And I'm on Facebook. I think I've got a Twitter at pinballhelp. So thanks for watching. See you guys later.